Welcome. In this lecture, we would focus on the tribal population of India. So, what have been the policies? So, Article three sixty six twenty five clause, which talks about the scheduled tribes and their meaning. Then, uh, the notifications which have been issued, Article forty six, which talks about special care, economic interest, and their promotion. Uh, the issues which have been raised under the Tribal and Other Traditional Forest Dweller Act two thousand and six, which mainly focuses on the forest right and the occupation on the forest land to the scheduled tribes, is important. And the terminology of Janjati. Now, note, uh, we would be talking about various tribes. The songs which have been laid down, which reveal to to their bhakti association which reveal to their independence but uh, those are actually mentioned in the text here and would be available in the handouts on examrace.com uh, so the concept is what we would discuss in this lecture the next is the national commission for schedule uh, schedule tribes now this is uh, a main organization a constitutional body which looks into the various aspects and the development of schedule tribes and that comes under article 338a so the article is important the structure of chairman vice president members uh, appointed by the president is important the headquarters are located at new delhi and then there are six regional offices across india then there are various policy implementation drives which uh, focus on to it uh, it has been given a special constitutional status which is ex extremely important and the idea is to safeguard the rights of scheduled tribes uh, to make sure that they are not deprived of their ri rights and there is socio-economic development on their end. Now there are certain powers which come under the civil court as well and the powers have been mentioned here which focuses on uh, the discovery and the production of documents bringing summons for communication purpose the next is the redressal of the grievances now uh, the national commission on scheduled tribes has played an important role in uh, checking out if there are any grievances and those need to be resolved out and then there is a launch of a portal which is in the following uh, domain which has been named here now this whole process requires a proper planning how the tribes have been acultured that means they are being uh, brought towards the normal uh, lifestyle uh, and towards the era of westernization and modernization so how they are being maintained with the nature but at the same time they want to coexist with the changing world around them so uh, those are the two things which have been Im important here now there are various uh, important leaderships for example Jatra Bhakti Bhagat, who was the founder of Bhagat movement in Chota Nagpur, uh, he actually disobeyed the regulations which were imposed by the British rules and his followers were known as Tana Bhagats and they took part in the non-cooperation movement. So the history of tribals, then we know the Khol rebellion, the Santal rebellion, the Munda rebellion. So all these are extremely uh, important in the history of India's independence as well. Uh, healthcare challenges are definitely there. Uh, prevalence of undernutrition, substance abuse is very high and then we also have no specific phcs and chcs in the uh, tribal pocket so development on those funds again needs to be important antenatal uh, postnatal services again are important the transition that they are undergoing when the mining activities and the resource extractions are uh, removed and how they move towards an open system so there is definitely shortage of healthcare workers in those areas they are geographically isolated there are problems of migration displacement and constant conflict there is also a need for a special focus on the health indicators as we can explain the next is in the specific areas of northeast the word tribe comes from latin word tribus which means poor and this was the mass explained in the roman dynasty so under the 16th century english properly uh, popularly used this and that was a descendant from an ancestor and it was to isolate the noble savage community and that was the basic idea now 12% uh, of the total tribes live in the northeast states northeast states of their total population 80% is nearly tribal population if we look on some of the facts and figures uh, tribal population is highest in Assam and lowest in Mizoram in the Northeast infant mortality is highest in Assam and lowest in Mizoram uh, uh, lower in Mizoram and lowest in Manipur then we also see the the chicken neck corridor which is the Siliguri corridor that connects the Northeast area so geographically it accounts for less than 8% of the area 
but their main activities are agriculture both zoom uh, zoom cultivation which is the slash and burn cultivation as well as a settled life monsoon paddy crop is one of the main crop systems and they are three important crops which is the sali ahu and bao kheti systems for rice plantation in the barak valley in arunachal pradesh so the culturally there are very different systems that are prevalent and here we have the list of tribes and the region where they belong to uh, again tribes in gujarat so here is the list of extensive tribes from gujarat the gap has been reduced significantly the literacy rate has been increased but there are over more than 26 tribal areas specifically in the areas of south gujarat their culture is important so worldly culture in the ravtha tribe of central gujarat is seen their local deity is pithora dev uh, the paintings in the south uh, in the world uh, by the world is in the on the walls of south gujarat are very very interesting the dresses again vary so uh, the ravtha men women dresses are different then the bheel dresses are different so the list of the people their tribes and their dresses have been given so gamti again the dresses are different then they follow a system of known as bhagat bhava bhagat bhava is where the tribal belts of uh, gujarat basically the region of dang narmada and valsad forest intersect with uh, the regions of panchmahal dahod sabarkantha and banaskantha uh, there are various uh, projects for example van bandhu kalyan yojana which is the socio economic development of the tribals need based outcome oriented mission mode project nana jagtap who was a tribal leader uh, he was a bheel leader who took part in the 1857 uh, uprising jharkhand has been mentioned in the scriptures of sanskrit and this was uh, the land where people used to drink in metal vessels eat on sal and sleep on date palm abul fazal has also abul fazal has also mentioned about jharkhand as a region between madhya pradesh and bihar so culturally these regions have been important they are mineral rich region santhal ho kharia mundas and oraus are the prominent population and then they are proto australites they have been inhabiting the land since the pre dravidian period and then santhal is one of the most primitive caste systems among the oldest tribes in india so again an important question for your prelims point of view then when it comes to gap in the facilities we definitely know there are numerous facilities be it road common service atm telephone service education um, medical facilities so this is again important for your uh, long answer so uh, sub sabki yojana sabka vikas uh, is another outstanding development now the tribal songs as i mentioned there are various songs which have been mentioned now first of the incidents of uh, tribal revolt in chatisgarh was in sona khan's landlord v narayan singh and then the next one was by bhumkal in bastar under leadership of gundadhar uh, both of these have been important the courts of them have been cited here uh, they had been fighting ferociously with the britishers and uh, they have been chanting uh, continuously for their motherland so the spirit of swaraj has been extensive similarly we have the bhumkal song in the bhatri dialect which is in the bihar area and this is again very very uh, demonstrative it is known as the absurd song uh, the next is the halbai song that is by the the bastar region of chatisgarh the halba tribe which is hard working and advanced and extremely important uh, we have gondi songs which focus on the gond tribe in chatisgarh uh, the gondi dialogue with dialect which became popular the next is the bhaga song from chatisgarh orao from north chatisgarh uh, then we have various indigenous cultures developing across the nation where these communities and uh, have been officially recognized there are more than 705 officially ethnic ethnic groups which have been recognized and the actual number of the communities is much higher there are certain areas where this population is relatively small but there are constant threats to the indigenous population those are mainly uh, regarding the climate change impact onto them the protection of their rights and the forest and the public policies which are coming up the various tribes for example adi is a tribe adi means hill or mountain top uh, mountain top and this is a tribe of arunachal pradesh uh, they have been uh, dependent on nature for all their lifestyles their houses have been identified uh, 
by double roof structure the front portion of the house is different then they have the walls made of timber and bamboo uh, the ropes have been used for construction the construction is based on uh, the the collection uh, for the building material is based on the phases of the moon the material must be uh, just before the new moon because that's the time it is free from insects and there are numerous such uh, technical things that they consider before building their house they don't have windows only a front gate and a back gate they do have a fireplace uh, there is no partition within the inner space so it's just one hall which is there uh, tangsas in arunachal pradesh is a community which is in the changlang district uh, this is the region of the naho deva dehang uh, river region and again indigenous bamboo tea making is specific so tangsas or sing foes were the original tea cultivators much before british introduced it and they used a traditional method to preserve it by roasting the tea leaves for many years now this community drinks tea on a daily basis and considers this to have medicinal value bamboo is not used for tea making but has numerous utility for making rice wheat and fish uh, cooked in bam bamboo tubes kalbelia of rajasthan has been listed as the unesco's un uh, un intangible heritage and uh, ghumantar is their another name that means they are wanderers uh, chopansi region of jodhpur have nearly 200 kalbelias where they reside and kalunath is still considered as the living legend of uh, kalbelia art it's basically kal means snake and belia means friendship so friendship with a snake and they have been handling the snake ban on snake handling have lost their traditional pro Uh, profession uh, and the performing arts which they were involved in but still they have uh, been extensively working on uh, percussion instruments duffly and beats and tunes so they have featured various uh, documentaries various books and are uh, economically and socially marginalized community rajbongchis of west bengal are the people living in the regions of west bengal assam arunachal meghalaya and parts of northeast agriculture is predominant for them and they have been called as rajbongshi means the uh, royal community they perform ghumriya dance which is the mukhya naj and the satirical uh, folk, folk drama which is known as uh, khon uh, then there is the mask makers which inhibit the kushmandi block in the dakshin dijnapur area and the kalaiganj block of Ut uttar dijnapur uh, the word khonch means moment uh, there are various stories which are dramatized with the comical style so those are again some of the developments then in the sports they have been doing exceptionally good india won 35 medals of which 10 gold medals uh, have been won uh, and those uh, indian players have won 34% only in hockey jaypal singh munda from ranchi uh, has an exceptional talent and is an uh, hockey player awarded the oxford blue title we also have uh, various politicians and other personalities coming up from tribal pockets so hockey was was one of the important games that has been recognized here sim uh, simdega district is known as the breeding place for the hockey and has all the facilities we have numerous young players coming in uh, in the hockey team uh, mainly females as well from uh, this uh, simdega district as well uh, so being trained in those areas so michael kindo in the world hockey cup has played the following uh, areas and he is uh, basically the uh, simdega son now uh, archery is another area deepika kumari is one of the major players then we have uh, padma award arjun award winner deepika who has played the olympics through uh, all the four uh, times from 2012 till 21 uh, then we also have uh, gora ho who is known as golden boy who was given the national children award in 2015 then various other uh, people who ha whose names have been mentioned here would be available in the handout so i'm not reading those out the idea is in the gond culture uh, gotul institute is important now gotul institute explains the disciplinary lifestyle it's not just about the family but the woman kept her father's clan the name till she has actually married uh, the members share the story the idioms the wisdoms and then they the family is actually patrilineal uh, they form the husband's family uh, post marriage so gond is a small community 
Pari is a clan and uh, goats use Pari to express their group. Then they have various subcasts like Pradhan, Ojha, Dholi. So those are subcasts within the goats. There is an order of kinship. The status of women is important. She looks after uh, the children, livestock, food in the family. Marriage is at a various tradition. It is forbidden within the relatives. Marriage among the children of maternal uncles and paternal aunts are favored. So that's the common way they have been uh, uh, working around. And then there are various uh, concepts related to religion, related to festivals, related to their death and sacrifice in the uh, related to death and sacrifices. Gotol, as I said, is a very important tradition it's not just a meeting place for boys and girls but it is also an educational and a cultural center when there was no educational system in the Gonds. Gondi is the language which is a pre-Dravidian language and has been uh, supported by various linguistics like Cadwell, Blanche and Garrison. There are various interconnected groups working together. The assistance for welfare of Shudiru tribes is again important and special programs have been released for them as well. So those were some of the key things that we have discussed in the Yojana July edition which mainly focuses on tribal districts. As I mentioned most of the information is theoretical. The handouts would be available on exam days um, current affairs section in based on Yojana so just refer those for more detail. If you have any questions feel free to click ask a question and we will be more than happy to attempt your answers.